hello viewers welcome to my gis learning channel in this video i will show you how you can download global rainfall data for any location and i also show you how you can calculate the average rainfall data so let's start from the browser go to this website csrs data portal here you will find these five options of them this one is high resolution persian ccs data and this one is real time global high resolution data this is the resolution 4 km into 4 km and uh, it is satellite precipitation product it is developed by university of california from here you can download data from january 2003 to present okay this is the coverage area and this is the resolution from here you can download data hourly uh, three hour six hour daily monthly and also yearly basis now i will show you how you can download the data in the data set select this one persian ccs and in the time step you can choose either uh, hourly three hourly six hourly or daily monthly yearly let's say i want to download uh, monthly rainfall data so from here i'll select this one monthly and then domain from here you can choose whole globe you can also draw your area of interest by selecting this one rectangle region but here i want to select this one political division and then as i want to download data of this area so i am selecting this one okay when you click on this area it it will be highlighted now select this option download and then select the date uh, let's say i want to download the data of 2022 of january okay to 2022 june then click on done and in the format section you can choose any of these either r grid tif net cdf i want to download it as tiff format so i am selecting this one and then in the compression i will select this one zip then click on download now you have to provide your email address after providing your email address click on download now you will see the download link of the data click on this link to download the data so here is my data that i have downloaded recently now i'm going to unzip this uh, here is my data from 2022 january to 2022 june let's open this data now if your folder is not connected you can connect your folder by clicking on this then select the folder where you uh, store your data in my case i already connected that folder here is one the rainfall data and these are all my data click on add to add all that raster data click on ok you can also add base map if you want by clicking on add base map I want to add this one dark gray canvas then click on it this one shows some error uh, you have to define the coordinate system in order to do that click on layer then go to properties and from here select this one coordinate system then select this one geographic coordinate system and this one world wgs 1984 then click on apply you can also change the symbology of this by clicking on this tab then select the symbology click on ok here it is let's check the coordinate system by going to the properties spatial reference system is undefined you can easily define this from catalog to the folder where you store your data then select this one go to properties and in the special reference click on edit then select the coordinate reference system this one wgs now if you check the properties you will find that coordinate reference system is now showing 
in the same way i will define the coordinate system for all this data now let's say you want to calculate the average uh, rainfall data of these six month in order to do that from window click on this option search then type here raster calculator this one um, first click this one first bracket and then double click to add this then add plus sign then the second one the same way i will add all these uh, raster data plus three then close the bracket and divide this by six to find the average rainfall of the six month and then choose the output location for your raster data provide the name then click on ok let's turn off all this layer you can now change the symbology here is our average rainfall data of this six month here minimum rainfall is 58 millimeter and highest one is 159 millimeter and if you want you can also um, convert this raster layer into point file and store rainfall data into that point file and do further analysis with that data so that's it for this tutorial hope you enjoy this one please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel